What's up everybody? So today I'm going to teach you an easy, easy strategy to just crush it even when things go down and things go up. Uh, it's something that I use. I write it down. And it's one of my simplest strategies that I use to uh, increase my crypto assets. Also, this is really, really important. If you ever decide that you want to start a crypto channel or a YouTube channel or anything like that and you name your show, I'm just going to give you a tip. Ready? So you want a crypto? My name is Joe. And basically, if you speak English and say words like so or hey, let's go or something like that, you are always going to sound like Inigo and Fezzik from The Princess Bride. That's how I feel every time I do an intro. I'd be like, so you want a crypto? My name is Joe. This is my show. Let's get ready and go. Anyway, that's my tip. So think about that. It's like when you name your kid, right? You don't want to name your kid something silly where their initials spell something that's not cool, right? Uh, anyway. That's enough fun for today. I did a little fun the other day and it didn't go over quite as well. Brought out my duck and burned some stuff. But uh, today, yeah, we're going to look altcoins. I'm going to show you, you know, what I kind of look for, how I get a feel for the market, a strategy to crush it. Ready? All right. Like, subscribe, comment. And uh, also, hey, so if you're crushing it in altcoins and you're crushing it in crypto assets, right? then that's pretty gangster. And the original gangster, glasses that is, are uh, Lokes, man. I'm not sponsored by them, but you know what? Like, since my first swap meet in the 80s in California, man, I have been a Loke dude, and I, got, I buy them by the case, all right? So I think that the future is so bright for all of you that I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a pair, ready? So all you gotta do is like, comment, and subscribe in the bottom. Uh, I'll pick you, I'll let you know, and we'll work out how to get them to you. Also, I want to try and get to 2,000 subscribers, and then uh, I'll give out two more pair. Same way. Uh, like, subscribe, comment on any video from now until then. That's all you got to do, right? And then, finally, at the 2,000 subscribers point, I'm going to give out some wax stuff, okay? So let me know in the comments, when you do comment, what is your favorite wax pack? So, you know, is it Bud Farm, the Nimoy, uh, Bitverse, Garbage Pail Kids, Godzilla? There's so many, right? Uh, so we just had the Robotech, and I'm telling you, man, that's neck and neck right there running for first for me. That's cool. There's the Weezer. Uh, there's a ton. So check out Wax. I think Wax is cool. And let's get to it. All right. Well, it's a good thing I didn't drag on with the intro and just kind of babble. I'm going to try and make this as easy as possible. I'm going to give you my, my little strategy here. Ready? So if you have, and the numbers, they're all up to you, your percentages and everything. I'm using some really round numbers to make it easier to see. Okay. So a thousand dollars initial, you start with a thousand dollars and you put it in, in a dip, right? None of this is financial advice. This is just something I do that I'm going to share with you. Okay. And this is something that's worked for me whenever I find a huge dip like this. And I, I'm not saying it's going to go back to the top. But I think it's going to at least double. That's it. Or it's going to maybe 60, 70 percent realistically. All right. But we're, today we're going to say double. We're in like a, a really bullish phase. And, you know, we, we think these things are going to double. What we're going to do, we're going to take our thousand dollars or whatever. Right. And it doubles. So now when people are always talking about you should take profit, take profit, remember to take profit. What does that really mean? So we've taken our thousand dollars. Maybe it's like sixteen hundred, fifteen hundred, whatever. But for today, I'm going to say two thousand and now we're going to take it. Our investments worth two grand. I'm going to take a thousand dollars of that. That's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to put that in like tether, something stable. Okay. And then I'm going to leave the other thousand in the market for exposure. Cause now I'm playing for free, right? I've got my thousand dollars. It's pretty safe or 600 of it or whatever. I might do this a couple trades until I get to that thousand and thousand even, or, or, you know, you, you might get wrecked and you might have to come up with a new plan. But when it's, when the momentum is going up, this works. Okay. Uh, so now let's say that you have that thousand in tether and the market drops 75%, like we just saw. So now this thousand that we left in the market for exposure is only $250, but we still have our thousand. So now we're only up 250, right? So now I wait for that bottom and let's say the bottom was exactly when it got to 250 and I see it's coming up and I kind of see some confirmations that I like. I'll take this thousand dollars and I'll buy back in. 
and now the market came back up and let's say that the market recovered and it went back to where it started from and it or you know just above so we'll say that it doubled again right so now you have that 250 that you went all the way down to turns into 500 over here and then your thousand you put in turned into 2000 so then what I would do at this point is I would take that 2000 and I would tether it and I would take that 500 and leave it in the market right and then what I would do is find something with that other money uh, you know whether it's leaving it's okay to have money sitting in tether you can let it sit there and float till there's a big dip right a great buying opportunity don't don't just buy because you feel like you got to buy right when window shop all you want but buy at a good opportunity and you know when coupons are out there and all sorts of stuff like right now now one thing i will say is be very cautious right now i think that we're looking in more of a w shape right so we'll see some ups but then they'll come back down sharp so you might be able to apply this strategy multiple times before the actual real parabolic stuff kicks off. And then remember when the, when it kicks off, it goes from like almost to the peak to almost to the bottom in like a month, right? And it's a short time. It's so it, it seems like a long time when you're looking at it, but it goes so fast. Next thing you know, you're like, Oh, I just skied all the way to the bottom. All right. The market today. So hopefully that strategy, sounds right you know and then if you were looking at the reverse since we're going to talk about a lot of numbers today so let's say you had a hundred dollars and the market dropped 97 percent that's a horrible day and now you have three dollars but then tomorrow the market goes up 100 percent well now you've only got six dollars right you need it the hundred on the you know those numbers on the way down go a lot fast the elevator's faster than the stairs right uh, so the stairs, you know, you got to double. So that's six dollars then double to 12 and then 24 So it takes you a, a few more steps to get back to that hundred and just remember that when you're seeing these plus 30 plus 100 plus 30 That's to the three dollars not to the hundred dollars, right? Hopefully that makes sense and I'm, I'm, I'm showing you Pearls, you know wisdom, but if not comment and I can try and square you away. All right, here's today's market and the market cap is 1.68 billion, right? Oh no, trillion. That's a capital T, trillion. There's 681 billion. Uh, yeah. So we've gone down quite a bit, but we've come back a little bit. We're back in our average, you know, that 200 billion 24-hour volume. That seems a little bit more realistic now. The BTC dominance is back up in the 40s. Ethereum's in, you know, 18.4, which, you know, that's still relatively elevated right i mean we're we saw that this is coming back up and we'll probably see the bitcoin dominance continue to go up for a little while but right now we're we were just over forty let let's click in here real fast i could have sworn maybe not we're, we're we need to get above at least we're above 38 that's smiles right but if we can get above 40 and just kind of hold that for a little bit that would look really nice okay so let's talk about, you know, we just saw some huge, huge downs. Who's coming back uh, by sector, by category? And this, I'm using Coin Market Cap. Categories is the tab right here. But they have DeFi, NFT, Polkadot, uh, Binance, Solana. You know, you can choose your poison here. Tourism, though, I just want to point this out. I just talked about tourism, like the day before the market just absolutely just shits the bed and you know people are like oh you missed the boat on that one i don't think that i did i think at the end of the year i think these tourism ones are going to be really good and if we look through there's not very many with market caps right only travala and uh, lock trip hey lokes there we go so maybe that's that's a sign right uh but lock trip it's down 40% and it's at an $88 million market cap and Travala right here is up 26% at $162 million market cap. But the rest of these smaller ones, you know, 2 million X lab, it's up 60%. Some of these others up 130. So just saying, you know, when it's down like that, it's okay to look ahead six months, right? We don't always have to do them and gloom it. Uh, and here you go. Here's my, my FUD and my duck and Here's my down video, but yeah, oh, here you go, right there, travel video. Hydra Chain, 140% APY, Travala, Lock Trip. Check it out, you know.
It's about the only thing. If not, it's cool too. So let's talk about, let's bring up old shit, right? Uh, white coin. So the, right here, white coin. They're down 6% over seven days, but man, in comparison to the rest of the bleeding world that's patching their wounds and trying to find the rest of their appendages to put them back on, 6% is not bad, you know? Market cap, look at this, under $1 billion, $885 million. What is this, you ask? Well, and how long have they been around, you know? XWC is a dollar one two three right one point two three down five percent uh, market cap eight hundred and eighty six million fully diluted it's one point two billion right there and uh, here's your totals and supplies and stuff but we're not gonna go too deep I don't want to bore you and lose you uh, they've been around when you click on this all forever uh, two thousand like fourteen yeah so they've made it through this entire you know, the bull market, the bear market, and they wrote out the entire season, and here they are. And they are on sale right now. So I'm not sure if you've heard or, you know, looked at this. Just throwing some stuff out there. You know, I don't do financial advice, you know. So what else am I going to do? Uh, yeah, you can read about this a little bit and everything. Here's the uh, the whitecoin.com or the xwc.com. I'll put all these links below. But basically, here you go. Uh, I'm going to just touch on this article real quick for white coin and when we get down we got uh, according to the CM uh, coin market cap data white coins total return on investment is over 74,000 which is only on step away or uh, I guess that's supposed to be one step away from a thousand time rate increase right so it's it's done well and it's on sale so it's pulled back since this article and stuff Whitecoin is XWC, Community Decentralized Blockchain. It was founded in 2014, the spring of it. And Whitecoin developed team are mostly from the Netherlands, Germany, Finland, Australia, and so on. It's a multi-tunnel blockchain communication protocol, MTBCP. And, you know, to connect, or it makes interconnection between blockchains. Uh, random proof of stake, Whitecoin Axis, Whitecoin Wallet. Decentralized mind pool and smart contract platform to constitute a cross chain blockchain ecosystem. The last seven years, Whitecoin has witnessed the rise and fall of the blockchain industry. During this, Whitecoin has been building up its technology community ecology to shape itself a strong force. They're using a pretty tough technology, and it says right here it's of the five technologies of cross chain, Whitecoin white is using the most difficult hybrid mechanism. Uh, Whitecoin is focused on DeFi. Remember we didn't have that DeFi summer? Just throwing that out there. Whitecoin is focusing on DeFi ecosystem development. DEX token swap is dedicated to provide solutions for the cross-chain ecological shortcoming in the second half of DeFi. Meanwhile, it is compatible, the main chain token and other blockchains assets of Whitecoin to make a cross-chain all asset DEX for DeFi. Let me say that again. A cross-chain all asset DEX for DeFi. $2 million DeFi foundation to help that along in the Whitecoin ecosystem, right? So the main chain produces one block every six seconds compared to B BTC, Bitcoin, every 10 minutes. And Litecoin, another one probably I wouldn't sleep on and I would look at and, you know, it, it, it's not like a favorite coin of mine or anything like that. So sometimes when I talk about these, it's not like I'm trying to pimp them out to you or shill them or anything. I'm just saying these are things you should be watching, right? You should have a good situational awareness everywhere. Litecoin moves. When the bulls start running, Litecoin moves. That's just all there is to it, right? And there's this two and a half minutes. Uh, Whitecoin's main chain is about 100 times that of Bitcoin's main chain and 25 times that of Litecoin. Whitecoin's transactions per uh, process per second, 10,000. And to put that into comparison right here, uh, theoretical TPS, Whitecoin is 10,000. Uh, Bitcoin, 28. Ethereum, 22. EOS, millions right another one i wouldn't sleep on i like eos man I and neo a thousand right and then it's, yeah so here's polka dot detonated the market enthusiasm for this track so it's squeezed into the sixth position and yeah 32 billion dollars right white corn's market value is one twelfth of polka dot the future is rising and looking hot right you're gonna need shades uh, so I don't know if white coins gonna explode or not, but I think they're going the right direction um, I think polka dots gonna do pretty well in DeFi as well. Just throwing that out there 
Here's Whitecoin. They have blockchain game, Light Wallet, XWC Mall, White Node. Uh, you know, if you want to check it out, this is their ecosystem page. Another area that I'm looking at is distributed computing tokens, right? So internet computing ICP, Filecoin, BitTorrent, uh, Holo, Helium. Uh, there's some storage. Anyway, we're not going to go too deep in that. But, you know, we start looking in here. Look at some of these rebounds. Not too bad. And they were down in the 30s, which was, you know, they look pretty even right there. I, I think Chainlink is one that's probably you know, oversold or whatever you want to call it. Uh, Solana and Terra. Man, Terra was down in, I thought it was in like the 70s, to be honest with you. When I was looking at like the seven day, it's up in the 55 now, but it took an absolute thrashing. And I, I think it's unjust. Uh, so I think that that one is definitely on, on sale. Uh, again, you know, these are just my thoughts. Serum, it took a beating as well. It's on sale. It's up 30%. But see, when these go down, I, and my little theory that with the $1,000 that I told you at the beginning, so I'm just hypothetically, right? So you see Terra and it's down 75% or 72% or even 70, whatever it happened to be. It was pretty damn much. So we throw in a little bit of Terra because we, you know, it's a project. I don't think it's going to fail. Uh, and then it doubles, right? So it went down 70 something percent to just a couple dollars and now it goes back to 12 so look at Luna, what was it? Give me just a second to pull up the month. Look, we're 15, 16 bucks right there, and it's at 6.85. So we could do the 100% and just barely even get to where it was. And then I would be like, well, shoot, it's probably gonna drop again, right? We talked about that W, so it'll go up, and then we'll be like, man, maybe time to get out. Let it drop again, do its thing when it's down in this bottom. Maybe we'll take that little bit of profit that we peeled out. It might not have been double. It might have only been 20, 30%, right? Let the market dictate. And then we get it back in. And that's how these people make money. That's like, you know, a really easy way. Of course, risk reward. I, I don't use any money that I'm depending on to like pay my bills to do anything with crypto. So I, 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 that's the one thing I can suggest or basically that is my advice, you know? Don't invest more than you can lose, and you you won't be wrecked. Uh, so the Polkadot ecosystem, we're talking they're going to be in DeFi. So Polkadot, Kusama, Chainlink, all of these got wrecked. Man, Polkadot got wrecked almost as bad as Luna. So these are areas I'm looking. Anchor, Anchor didn't do too awful, and it's kind of, you know, it's a little bit less volatile. So I, I like Anchor. Um, Energy Web Token, look at it. It didn't get hammered quite as bad, but it's making a, a pretty good run, right? Reef, it's kind of back and forth, but there's quite a few good ones in here. Seller's making a good run. Soar's making a good run. Uh, Origin Trail's back up 47, but they were down. They got hit pretty hard, too. So did the Fallon Network. Fallon Network, uh, so the Kusuma, Kusama. Parachain auctions, you know, they're, they're starting. They're coming. We're, we're close. And the bottom of this market kind of hurts that, but it's still coming and it's still going to give value to Kusama and to Polkadot, right? They're both going to go. So you're going to see things like this. And I picked out Fala for this reason is when they go on to Kusama first, which is, I believe is their plan. It's going to be Kala. They're going to put a K in there first. And then once they get to Polkadot, then it'll be Fala Network with the P. And I think it's a one-to-one -one swap token over, you know. We can talk about that deeper later. But I do know that they're going to have a Kusama version and a Fala version, but it's the same thing, same amount of tokens. They're not making more. They'll just have some on one, and then they'll bring them to the other. Uh, or, you know, start on Kusama, and then transition to that to poke it out eventually is their plan. But you can see it hit hard, and it's coming back well. Uh, here's, you know, the crypto market's down. It went back up. And just, I want to zoom in. One last thing, right? I'm not... I don't want to be here rambling too far. I know I can get off topic. Uh, so we saw this drop right here. So you've seen it before right here. And then it came back really strong, went down. And eventually we broke the high of before. But look at the volatility. And this is where that uh, strategy that I was sharing with you applies. 
when it's down like this, kind of get in a little bit and go up and up. And eventually you'll get to the point where the guys that are mostly cool, you see the memes where there's like absolute chaos and things blowing up everywhere. And then there's old boy just, you know, skirting down the stairs, jolly as can be, he's got his hand in, you know, it's an absolute mess, right? Uh, that's because they're not really playing with their money anymore. You can get to a point where you've exceeded your initial investment, right? So then you got to take emotion out of it. That helps to do that. If you're playing with your only $1,000 and you're, it just turned into $300, that'll make you want to throw up. Uh, you got to have a plan. So I don't know. I, I really don't know how to say that without being like all mom or Karen on you, but which is kind of funny because my mom's name is Karen. Uh, anyway, all right, cheers. Last thing on this is KuCoin. Let's look at you can find a lot of gems on KuCoin. And the ones, some of these coins I was talking about, I think white coin is not on KuCoin, but almost everything else really is. And, you know, in the last 24 hours, just in DeFi alone, we see Link 30%, Aave, that's one I didn't talk about, but Aave is doing well. And then look, we got Luna already up 50%, 50% in a day. Uni, 50% in a day. That's halfway to your little strategy there, right? But you got to, you know, like I said, be smart about it. Anyway, I hope you're making money. Uh, I'm not here to deceive you or shill anything. And actually, I'm not going to take any sponsors. So everything I say is just my opinion from now on. Uh, I do have a Coinbase link below. and You'll get 10 bucks, and I get 10 bucks. And I, the only reason I'll keep that is because Coinbase is a good way for like investors that are new in like uh, the United States or something. To start out, you put in the 100 bucks to your KYC. You'll get your 10 bucks. I know it works. I've talked to all the people... You know that I've in my local I don't know how many you can do or whatever but I know people that got the 10 bucks so that's why I'll do it all right we'll see you soon